While most of the surgeries performed are described as invisible by the people at the Casa, some visitors opt for physical operation. Joao performs these surgeries without anaesthetic, and yet most people report that they feel no pain. The explanations I still don't fully comprehend. But I was watching a man who was making incisions with an ordinary knife, like a routine kitchen knife, unsterilized. I felt when he cut, but nothing painful. Some burning, but nothing like excruciating or horrible. But I felt because I wanted to feel. But what I felt the most was um, when he squeezed out something, I felt really something black coming out of my heart like a thorn. It's something that every step of my life was slowing me down, huh? like a thorn. How is this taking place without infection? How is this taking place without blood loss? And how are people not screaming their heads off when he inserts the needle doing the stitching and making the incisions? Many say that this is anesthesia. Put it in your mouth and what does it taste like? Agua. Mark came from California, not because of any illness, but looking for proof of the existence of God. I felt cold steel going up, and then I felt him just shove it with all his strength. Jeez. And I felt excruciating pain. I felt just so calm. Hmm. And even when I had the thought, he's in your brain, which is what my thought was, and I saw yellow, bright yellow, and I got this bitter taste in my mouth as I had the thought, right. he's in your brain. Well, it's hard no, to... it did not look like it went directly up. Your head was tilted back. Yeah. He did go in, and then it looks like he did maybe uh, change the angle. Let's look at it again. But also, there's an inch there that it's not in the nose. Ah. Through that. Boy, that is long, isn't it? It's long. Well, thank you. Okay, that's the back of the sinus. Okay, that's how much space I have. That's about what it looks like in Netter's Anatomy. Do you want to go to the internet this afternoon and I'll pull up a side sagittal view of the, uh, um, of the skull mm. and uh, we yeah. can look at that. You're the doctor, but look at the curve you have to do. Yeah, For me, really the main reason I came was to prove to myself there was a God. Either there is or there isn't. So what do you think? Yeah, there is. Why? Because I survived that. Right. Plus the other operations that I've seen here. What do you feel right now as the entity of the world? How do you feel right now? You don't feel anything. It's okay. No problem. No problem. Can you feel when I touch your hand? Do you feel anything when I touch your hand? No. Only it's the same touch, very soft and normal. For him, Não tem nada. For him is nothing. Mas him eu nothing. fiz foi tirar, foi raízes. He's removed everything acabou. from his head. Okay. And nothing more come back again. Okay. I have to change the way I think about the world. <laughs> it baffled me as to how people actually were not getting infection. Because having worked in the third world myself, if I had done anything like that without proper sterile conditions, there would be a bacteria infection. Some people who I spoke with were able to remember the events going around them completely. And so some people seem to enter a sort of altered state during these surgeries. Some people do not. Um, when I was assisting in one of the surgeries, he cut this woman's cornea. She didn't flinch. She didn't try to uh, pull away from him and she was able to answer his questions and speak with him while 
while he was performing the surgery. Um, she did report some mild pain at the end, but then he um, placed his hand over her eye and the pain was gone. I can't explain that. I heard some people use the term spiritual anesthesia. I have no way to understand that. interior part of the eye as well, although he's working on the surface, he's going deep into the interior. Are you experiencing any pain or did you experience any pain? No pain. He was explaining to me that he was uh, uh, opening up something within her heart. As Jeffrey Rediger walked from the casa after witnessing surgeries, he talked about understanding the phenomena in his head, but not accepting it in his heart. Then a stain appeared on his shirt. Jeffrey was experiencing what the locals call an invisible physical surgery. People claim that this spontaneous appearance of cuts happens quite often outside of the casa. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. You think so? Really? Because you haven't got a spot there. Maybe I did have an invisible surgery there in that room the other day. I don't know. Yes, yes, yeah. Hmm. Now you know how it feels. Yeah. I mean, I feel a little bit afraid. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to understand this. I feel a little bit afraid. Um, so you don't feel like you've been violated? You feel in control? No, I don't feel like I was violated at all. Um, no, I don't know. No, I do not feel in control. I think that's why I'm afraid, probably. It's not clotting off as, as fast as you'd expect. Yeah, thanks. I don't have a bleeding disorder. I had spent the week seeing people and experiences that were outside the realm of my normal experience. We had some research interviews and heard some stuff that just kind of knocked me for a loop, frankly. And then, uh, and then somebody noticed blood on my shirt, so. It's heart surgery is a metaphor for opening yourself right. up. Right. I kind of been told that's what I need to do. Wow. <laughs> so. Wow. But not just, you know, it's a tiny hole. It is a very tiny hole. hole. Yeah, it just, yeah. It just won't stop bleeding. I mean, Jeffrey bled for over an hour, despite all attempts to stem the flow of blood. Hi. 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 Hi.